Alright, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do uh, eyeshadow um, on GIMP. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to pick a color. Uh, probably, let's go with a light pink. Um, so you can do the layers page. Then you need to click a new layer. I'm just going to name this eyeshadow. Alright, now uh, let's get a little bigger of a brush. Uh, Alright, that looks about right. Um, can make it a fuzzy circle just so it's a little bit less um, harsh lined. Alright, and really we're just going to follow the eye. Oh, actually, we have to do one more thing before that. I'm so sorry. Um, sorry. We are going to actually uh, blur this line here because when the eyeshadow goes on, it can um, kind of look a little weird with that line, the crease. I don't know why, it just looks a little funky with that. So, I was just blurred out. Again, I'm just using the blur tool. Um, let's get that all one solid color. Alright, now we'll go back to this other layer that we just created. And just start this again. So, we should we go one darker pink. Alright, so we are just going to follow the line of the eye and we're going to go up to about the crease we just want to be solid and this looks really crazy right now. I know that. Uh, it will look better, I promise. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to make that a nice solid line. This tutorial will be eyeshadow as well as um, some other stuff. Alright, now we're gonna take the whites and uh, just go along the brow bone kind of give it some dimension because sometimes when you do this all the dimension will disappear and then we're just going to fill that up. and I know she looks like a clown just wait I promise I know what I'm doing and then we're just going to bring this down into the inner corner like that just again to give it a little bit of highlight. And then what we're going to do is see here on the layers channels uh, paths like this thing under the layers we're just going to click overlay and then once it's overlaid as you can tell that helped a lot we're going to take the blur get really big just blur this all together and there is a tool for blurring uh, I don't know why I don't use it. I just prefer this, I guess. Um, you know, just to make it, I don't know. But actually, I'll blur it a little bit. I'm sorry, blur, you want to use the Gaussian blur. I don't know why, it's, it just works the best. Uh, let's do a lot. To, oh, alright, that helped. I don't know why, but it always loses these after I do that. Alright, now that we've got eyeshadow on, we are going to put the eyebrow a little bit better. It's kind of thin. Um, so again, I'm just going to need this eyebrow. Click OK. Take the paintbrush. We're going to do a uh, brown. Alright, this is way too big. Alright, that's probably good enough. 
So again, we're on another layer, so we'll overlay this. Oops. Um, so I'm really just going to follow the shape. Of the eyebrow. Again, you don't really want to mess with the natural shape. Keep it the same and then just fill it in. Not too hard, it's relatively easy. And it's okay if there are a few stray hairs. Um, actually, let's do, we are going to. Well, oh. alright. So then we're going to take this thing again and we are going to overlay then we can change the opacity oh that brown is not the right color let's darken that up a little bit so we're gonna go back to normal and get a darker brown just go over that oh this almost looks black that's okay and you just want to keep going until you get the right color patience and um, that's why I'm separating these videos into specific areas of the face just because um, I want this to be very specific I mean that sounded weird all right anyways overlay and then we can change the opacity of it to how much it will show too much over there. Oh, that's okay. Okay, so that we have this and the eyebrow, which isn't done very well, sorry. It's just, it's just not dark enough. Can we get, like, black? Let's just try black. Actually, I don't know what to do. We'll use the burn tool, which I'll, I will be using later. Um, oops. Burn. burn. Uh, oh, that helps. It fills it. It looks like it fills it in a little bit. You know, I feel like it just makes the eyebrow look thicker. And with that underlying base underneath it, this looks really nice. remember that little trick. I'd really do this for eyelashes and faking some eyeliner. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. Next is, um, sorry. We are, normally I would fix the whites of the eye a little bit. Um, so I'm going to put this on dodge, which means take the lighter version of it. And just make this super, super white. Get rid of any redness. Just to make this look perfect. Alright. Next we are going to put some eyelashes on. Um, so I went online and bought, um, actually I didn't buy them, they were free, uh, eyelash brushes, so, ooh, that is huge, oh, alright, so some of them aren't that good, um, yeah, I don't like that one very much, let's see, I mean, it only takes me a while, um, See, this one is too curvy for this eye shape. You want to find one that fits the eye. That does it. Ooh, too big. Alright, this is close. Yeah. 
E, not quite. I really want to find the perfect fit. So that it looks as natural as possible. Make sure this will be right. That will be right. That's, that's a maybe. Uh, let's try this one. Oh, okay, this is right. So I normally, it's set up black. Um, I'm just going to take it down in the opacity so it's not like super, super black. Ooh, that is ugly. Ooh, that's horrible. Uh, sorry. I can't really see that up close. Wow, I don't know why anyone would have eyelashes <laughs> like that. So, um, let's try that again and get it more in the right place. Ooh, it's going to go down farther. Hmm, maybe this isn't the right one. That looks good. Um, and then see how there is a yeah, I don't want this brush. Um, see how there's a little bit of pink down there from the uh oh wait. Let me just put a bottom brush on there really quick. Um Oh, that looks bad. Oh, I'm not going to do a bottom lash. I'll do that with the burn tool. So you take the burn, put it on, uh, do uh, burn, not dodge. Um, put it into fuzzy brush. Make sure you're on the first one. And then you're just going to take the opacity down just a little bit. And actually, no, I'll keep it up. It's just going to darken the lashes a little bit. Just put a little fade out on there. For some reason, this doesn't feel like working sometimes. I don't know why. Right, and then I'm just going to do the same for right there. Why is this not going to work? Darken that up a little bit so the eyelashes blend right into each other. Oh, that works a little bit better. It just kind of, um, it's almost like a little bit of eyeliner. And it just, it's like when you put on fake lashes, you know, you're just blending the fake eyelashes right into the real ones. Alright, so let's go to a beginning and end. So here was the base image, and we filled in the eyebrows and such, and we finished with this. Alright, and if you want more tutorials, just comment below and tell me uh, what tutorials you like. Alright, thanks.